Hello all you crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite and I really like Scribble. For those of you who don't know what Scribble is, it's a text renderer for Game Maker that is much faster and much more flexible than the default text renderer for Game Maker. I made a few videos on it a few months ago, you can go check them out. As it turns out, I also like making tools. So for some odd reason, I decided to put those two things together. This is a text preview tool for Scribble, which will allow you to see how text will be formatted with Scribble without having to, you know, rerun the game every time you change your text or to like buy GM Live or something. So it's pretty simple. You write text in this text box. There's some default text. Uh, you can you can write some scribble tags. Let's change the text color to something else. Phone, shut up. Okay, that's my mom. I should probably answer that. It's okay. Nobody's dead. No, nothing's on fire. No, nothing. So this is red text. We can cancel the red text. This is not red text. And all, all the usual things you can do with Scribble will apply. Um, I personally am a big fan of waving text. So we can have the text wave up and down. You can do a few other things. You can change the font. Um, there are a few... This is one of the current limitations of, of Scribble is that you can't define fonts at runtime. So I have included a list of default fonts in the program that you can use um, and include in Scribble. The default is, I believe, I can't remember what the default is, but anyway, you can you can set it to Arial Calibri. Uh, I like Calibri much better than Arial Comic Sans. If you're a if you're a fan of memes. So you can set the font to, to italic common to, to italic common sans, and of course, as as uh, any user of Scribble would know, you can nest these inside each other. And you can cancel those. So now we have italic comic sans that is orange and shaking up and down. I don't know if there's anything more meme worthy than that, I don't know it. As I said, a few limitations. You're restricted to the fonts in this list, um, at least currently. Juju has expressed interest in updating Scribble to allow you to define fonts for Scribble to use at runtime. We'll see where that goes. Uh, you can define colors. Um, for example, if you decide that orange is not orange enough, you can make orange a little bit more orange. Uh, this is my color picker, which I am quite proud of. And now orange is slightly more orange. Or if you decide that orange has no right to look orange at all and you would rather it look Where's magenta? Magenta's up here. If you'd rather orange look more magenta, you can do that as well. And um, and then you can add, remove, rename your colors, whatever. That's pretty exciting. If you want to preview the uh, the auto type feature of Scribble, or as some like to call it, typewriter text, uh, you can have text fade in and out, typewriter in and out. You can do per character and per line. Uh, you can adjust the smoothness of the effect. So if you set the smoothness to a higher value, the text will fade in rather than appearing uh, instantly like a typewriter. Um, and then you can also do it per line. That was very fast. Uh, usually when you have text appear per line, you want it to be much slower. I guess I set my minimum to 0 0.1. What is my minimum? I should probably display the bounds of these values when you when you hover over. And you can have it fade out as well. So that's going to fade in. Wait a few seconds, four seconds. And then it's still set to none. Okay, it'll fade in. Wait four seconds and then I'm trying to estimate four seconds in my head. There it goes, fades out. And you can do either per character or per line. That is very slow, sir. I would not recommend having per character appear at a speed of less than about maybe one half. So that's the auto type. Uh, you can also adjust the text bounds in this uh, in this text box in case you have differently sized text boxes and you want to see what Scribble might look like in a narrower environment. There's a fancy slider for that. Uh, the default color you can mess with. I Let's go with something that's not super hard on the eyes. Let's go with blue for the default color. That's not too bad. Um, perhaps you... Uh, perhaps you are a fan of having a black background with white text on it instead of a white background with black text on it. You can go 
set the background to black or any co other color you happen to be interested in using and boom. So that's it. It's pretty simple. If you're not super familiar with all the things you can do with Scribble, there is a fancy cheat sheet here, which, uh, which is a, a slightly in your face about the different things you can do with Scribble. Um, there's a lot of things happening at once that also made the, the absolute frame rate tank by like 100 frames per second. That's nice. In addition to fonts, there are some things you can't really do. Uh, Scribble gives you the ability to, uh, to display inline sprites. For example, if you wanted to show a coin sprite every time you display the amount of money the player has, you could display an inline coin sprite. The only sprites available to this preview tool currently are the ones that are like user interface sprites for the editor, which aren't especially useful. What's, what's one? See, I don't even remember my own sprites off the top of my head. Let's go and, uh, yeah, turn off auto type so that you can see it. This is a user interface sprite. I currently don't have a mechanism for adding your own sprites for use in Scribble nor sound effects because Scribble can play sound effects at certain points in Autotype as well. I may do that in the future. That depends on how much time I want to dedicate to it and how many people would find that sort of thing useful. But that is the Scribble preview tool. Give it a shot. If you have text that you like, you can copy it out of the editor with this fancy copy button and paste it into a text editor or into like Game Maker game maker so you can have it have an npc say the words or whatever you can do whatever you want with it this isn't a fully this isn't a fully featured text editor of any sort this is just a box that you type into it's not that fancy i have a lot of time on my hands but i don't have that much time on my hands that i can just make a text editor so if you're interested in this go check it out uh it is that is not my itch.io page it is on itch.io um it's also on github you can you can poke around in the code or you can just use itch.io. If you want to know more about Scribble, I'll have links all over the place probably to where you can learn more about it and also just the, the, uh, the link to its own GitHub repository. I hope you all enjoyed that and found it useful and whatever the other things I say at the end of videos nowadays are. My name is Dragonite. If you're feeling generous, there's a tip jar in the description of the video that I really should get in the habit of shilling more often. And I will see you all later.